Ghana stands ready to defend its case before the International Court of Justice when it comes to blocking Venezuela from including any questions in its December 3rd referendum in relation to the border controversy that will have an impact on Guyana's territorial integrity and sovereignty. That is according to Carl Greenwich, Guyana's co-agent on the border controversy to address the 1899 arbitral award engaging the International Court of Justice. During an interview on Monday, the former Foreign Affairs Minister said Guyana has no intention of blocking Venezuela's referendum, but that it has concerns with the questions that may have an impact on Guyana. Then there is a process, and that process is not a unilateral process. That is, that is the issue. That's what's before the court. Court is being asked, uh, not so much to stop them having a referendum, but to ensure that they know and, and to ensure that the referendum doesn't have provisions which give the Venezuelan public the mistaken belief that they have the right to decide on other citizens' faith, citizens outside of the borders of Venezuela in defiance of world opinion, in defiance of world practice, and in defiance of the obligations that Venezuela has as a signatory to agreements that still exist. Greenwich, a former vice president under the AP and UFC coalition administration, said records are there to show that Venezuela has acknowledged its border with Guyana as outlined in the 1899 arbitral award. We have a situation in which there is no disagreement, not merely about the land territory, which is what happened in 62, disagreement over the maritime zone, which was arising in 68 and now uh, followed by a whole series of, um, of uh, presidential decrees which are illegal internationally. We, we are disagreeing over the provisions of the Geneva Agreement. Things are being said that are in the Geneva Agreement which nobody else has been able to find. Nobody out of Venezuela can find reference to these things in the Geneva Agreement. And we find that there are allegations or there are statements about fictional military bases. He explained that Venezuela's built-up of troops at the border and its upcoming referendum could be viewed as acts of threats and aggression against Guyana. Referendum, as is usually these things, is part of a scenario. In other words, maybe if it were the referendum alone, it would be bad enough. Bad enough. But if you look at what has been happening uh, over the last few months, you will find that the referendum is one of many things that uh, we are concerned about. And included amongst those things is the um, uh, arrangements being made on the Venezuelan side, along with very hostile language for uh, movement of troops on our borders, uh, actions which affect the uh, stability and also the um, well-being of Guyanese, especially those in the areas bordering uh, Venezuela, in the northwest, northeast in particular, um, and that is one part of the background. As regards the, the, the referendum itself, the point is, in normal circumstances, one couldn't give a hoot what another country decides to do by way of a referendum. But it, a referendum is a little, by, little bit like the exercise of freedom. Your right to do and say things ends very close to me if, those, uh, if the exercise of those rights affect me. On Monday, Guyana's politicians in the National Assembly stood united in their rejection of Venezuela's claims to the Esequiba region, which represents two-thirds of Guyana.